welcome back to Little Grey Box. It's Phoebe here with Matt behind the camera. And on this channel, we share with you all our experiences and tips to help you travel well. And in today's episode, we are in New Zealand, in the North Island, checking out Rotorua, Taupo and Napier. Situated on the Pacific Rim of Fire, Rotorua is a geothermal wonderland. Now one of the things you're going to do when you come here is visit some of those geothermal parks and mud spas. I've been here before and that is something I've already done so we are not going to be doing that again but if you are visiting you should definitely check that out. And there's some really cool cultural experiences as well. I did the Mitai Village experience a couple of years ago and loved that and a great amount of adventure activities. I mean you can go zorbing, there's all kinds of things you can do to your body in the adventure space and you can check out the skyline gondola too but for Matt and I we are starting off here in the redwoods forest now as part of our road trip we are going to be passing through here and this is something I really wanted to do I had to add this to our itinerary so let's go and check it out and get this adventure started we get your soul. Planted in 1901, these towering California redwoods create an incredible canopy over the top of us. They stand at around 219 feet or 67 meters tall. To experience them, we're doing the Redwood Memorial Grove track and we're going to cover roughly two kilometers in about 30 minutes or so. The path is nice and flat and it takes you through this ethereal forest past some of these gigantic beauties that are something to behold. Oh, oh, would you run him Now, if you don't want to do just the free track, which is what we're doing today, you can obviously do the Redwoods Tree Walk. Now, that's going to cost around $35 per person, and you get to traverse these incredible suspension bridges up high past Full Grove and the oldest redwood in this particular forest. Definitely something to check out if you've got a little bit more time than we do today. peaceful in here really relaxing I feel like I'm, my pace has slowed down I feel so at ease the energy of these trees is just incredible if you're a person that loves nature and nature-based activities or seeing something unique this is the spot to come I definitely recommend doing this discover kiwis have an obsession with burgers they really do even between australia and new zealand i just noticed they are obsessed with burgers they're everywhere now there is a lot of opinions on who does the best burger and where to get it from when i was here a few years ago visiting a local told me that burger fuel was his favorite burger fuel's a chain there are plenty of them to choose from around the country so if you are visiting a major city or even a small town you are likely to find one there they have so many great options the menu's flexible if you're plant-based, if you're a meat eater, they will have you covered. Now, um, this is the first time I've seen this. A doofa? A doofa? The server here at the one around the corner from the Redwood Center is an absolute doll. She's such a sweetheart. She tried to give us a lesson on the doofa. I think, from what I understand, you put your burger butt end in there. Oh, stop it. And then you don't get as dirty, she said. Look at that. All right, let's try this. And this place is really budget friendly, guys. So don't worry if you're in the mood for cheap eats. It's the place to come. That's really good. most beloved and visited natural attractions. 
and it is easy to see why. Now what happens here is the Wakato River, which is normally 100 meters wide, is forced through a 15 meter wide gorge and then shut out over the 9 meter drop that you see behind me. The power of that water is unbelievable. Now we met a guy up in Bay of Plenty named Josh. Uh, when he was a young fella, he was an amazing competitive kayaker and he actually navigated this and made it out the other side to tell the tale. And I am so impressed because that is not to be messed with. We're moving through the region quite quickly on our road trip and only spending one night here in Taupo. So we decided to stay at an Airbnb and it's probably one of our favorite Airbnb stays of all time. This is apartment five and it is perfectly located a short drive from the lake and the city center. And as you can see, it is beautifully designed. It is so thoughtfully put together. Now the owners live on site upstairs, but you don't have to spend time with them or see them if you don't want to. You can enjoy this whole backyard to yourself and relax with the fire pit. Taupo, located on the northeastern shore of Lake Taupo. Now it has a surface area of roughly 616 square kilometers, which means it is nearly the size of Singapore. So it's no wonder they call it the Great Inland Sea of New Zealand. And you guys, it truly is the heart of New Zealand's beautiful North Island. In the warmer months, you can imagine the lake is a hive of activity. So many great things that you can do out there, including the hole in one. There's also some amazing nature spots in here. Lots of forests, some rainforests where you can do some mountain biking, hiking, walking, and the like. You can also do the incredible Tongariro crossing. That is iconic and a must do. They also have a ski field out here somewhere as well, which I am led to believe is amazing. Now, one really cool thing to do when you're in town is visit this really little known restaurant it's kind of a local secret nobody really knows about it um, very underground and you actually get to eat inside a plane really cool right it's um, kind of a hidden gem you wouldn't really know the restaurant unless somebody told you about it like me um, but yeah the food they serve there burgers fries ice creams milkshakes if the machines working diet cokes it's a uh, pretty amazing it's, uh, it's called McDonald's Kind of heard of it, maybe not, I doubt it. It's pretty underground. Um, we're not gonna eat here, this little family run joint tonight. I've got something else in mind, but a uh, pretty cool experience eating inside that plane and very uniquely towel. For dinner, we came here to Teano Cantina. Now this place is really vibrant from the outside. Uh, I'll be honest, when we went in there, it was dead. And we walked in there, I was like, uh, the vibe is not on. But I'm really glad we stayed because the food was fantastic. Now it is Taco Tuesday, so it was $5 for a taco. Matt and I got three tacos each and corn. It was $38, really great price, I think. And the food was super, super tasty with veggie options and meat options too. We both really enjoyed it. They have lots of great inspiration things to do in the area and what's great about this spot is it's right along the freeway that road you're going to take from Taupo to Napier literally just pulled off over here and it's a short drive in you can't trek down there but you can enjoy the views from up here and it is spectacular you guys so I highly recommend 
Now our hire car is all thanks to the guys at Go Rentals. Their whole system is just so seamless. They have a great app which made picking up our vehicle in Auckland so quick, so easy. They're amazing. Uh, and we have gone with a RAV4 and having a vehicle of this size and sturdiness has been amazing for a road trip of the length that we are doing. So if you are looking for a car rental group, I highly recommend going with them. From the falls, it has taken us around an hour and a half to get here to Tamata Park, which is just outside of Napier and Hastings. So we're gonna be doing the Karaka Wanderer Trail. It's about four kilometers, and it says it should take us about an hour and 15 minutes, which isn't that long. We've got some snacks to take with us so we can stop at the scenic lookout and enjoy those. But let's get going, this, let's get going. This is one I've been looking forward to for quite a while in the lead up to this trip. Of the chemistry, I'm really fucking with all of your energy. Highly pursue, but I don't let it get to me. They say the start of us might be the end of me. I don't remind, but I see signs. Johnny and June, and we walk in the line. Remember, you best with a streak of some bomb for the spring. I got hella respect for you doing your thing. Couple of drinks, we get drunk off the drama you mad. Passive aggressive, we'll hook in the oh, We're in this beautiful redwood grove. Now when I was researching this and trying to decide which track we should take, there were quite a few to choose from. But I just felt like this one took us through a great range of things to see in the park and it wasn't going to be too long or too strenuous. If you are up for something a bit longer, they've got you covered with a couple of other tracks to choose from. But so far, the yellow track is awesome. Some two million years ago, the seafloor tilted and shifted to create the landform that is now Tamata Peak. And it is something to behold. Centuries later, it was inherited by Moro tribes, then claimed by European settlers, and in 1927 was gifted back to the community by the Chambers family. And here we stand enjoying this beautiful piece of New Zealand. Now, our walk along the Yellow Trail that I spoke about earlier, it took us through some really beautiful scenery, and I highly recommend it. But it didn't bring us right up here to the top. Now, if you want to come up here to the peak, you've got a couple of options. Follow the red or blue trails, or do what we did. Do the beautiful scenic yellow loop that isn't too strenuous. Then jump in your car and drive up here for the very best views. It is very windy and chilly up here. I highly recommend bringing a thermos full of something warm to drink and a nice piece of cake or some afternoon tea of some sort to enjoy. But make sure you come up here, because this view, it's incredible. Poison dripping from the petals of a rose Ooh, on our way up to the peak up there, we saw this place, Peak House and that looks like a really great cafe restaurant Now, I was a little bit hesitant first to come in because sometimes you see places like this and they're a bit gimmicky This one's not <laughs> The menu looks amazing and the food has come out that, that burger looks like it's straight out of a commercial Look at all the leaves where it's based, so it's the quintessential perfect burger Kiwis know the burgers. This looks so tasty. I'm so excited to eat this. That's delicious. of Hawke's Bay, Napier was hit by an earthquake in 1931 and as a result lots of things had to be rebuilt. So because it was rebuilt in 1930 it reflects that incredible Art Deco style and when you come here it is like stepping into a movie set with all these beautifully preserved buildings. It's really cool to have a look at where we are right now and look back into the past. I don't know about you but I think the 1920s, that kind of Art Deco era is so beautiful and elegant and something about this whole city is just so romantic. I love it here. I love it, love it, love it. You feel you're stuck somewhere in between The way it seems it was meant to be Wondering how this could go differently It's time for dinner and 
and we have come here to Havelock North to a place called Fun Buns. Now something that happens when Matt and I travel is I usually do all the itinerary planning and I like to plan a lot of things to surprise Matt. Some of those surprises are nature based activities, some of them food and today's one is food. So Matthew, are you ready to find out where we're having dinner tonight? Fun Buns? And do you know what they do? Buns. Bow. Oh, bow! Yes. They are like famous for their bow in this area apparently. Amazing. It's going to be amazing. Oh, that sounds good. Told you we'd like it. Let's work. We have a choice to make. Either come back much later or sit down outside in the cold and eat. Not missing out on the food. So here we are. We had gloves, beanies, everything we needed. They had blankets so we're all rigged up outside eating and it's worth it. The food has been amazing. The Thai fried dumplings are amazing. Radish cake, which I love. If you love fried carrot cake in Singapore, you should like that. Now the main event has come out. These are bao buns. I will say it's $12 per bao, but it looks tasty. Mm. That is really good. $12 worth. Debatable, but I paid it. <laughs> <laughs> that dinner was very tasty. Very cool decor in there and fantastic service. One thing to keep in mind, it was $90 for two bao, three share plates and one glass of wine. So if you are on a budget, maybe think more countdown new world and less fun buns. But the buns were fun and I had fun with the buns. <laughs> now you guys we have barely scratched the surface of things to do here around Napier and Hastings of course one of the big things to do in the Hawke's Bay region is get into wine if you love good wine so many great places to visit you should definitely go to Mission Estate that's one place we really wanted to get to today but a couple of things happened that took up a little bit more time than we expected uh, so we weren't able to make it I'm a little bit devastated that definitely was our plan but if you are visiting, make sure you check out some of the wine in the region. Hawke's Bay is just renowned for producing some of New Zealand's best reds, so do not sleep on it. With that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode. And say hello in the comments below. I hope you have an amazing weekend, and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love you.